Welcome to vlog number three. You guys didn't think we would make it this far. One of the questions that I just got was actually about the CRM and the importance of a CRM. Listen, I didn't have one for probably seven years, all right? So one of the biggest things is when you actually get something, you have to use it, okay? I used an Excel spreadsheet. That's where I got all my deals. That's where I got all my clients. That's where I got everything right there. It's not the importance of the CRM. It's the importance of actually using it, all right? So every single day, you have to get it nine to 11 every single day. Let's go make some phone calls. One of the biggest messages I keep on getting is, why are you vlogging? Why are you doing this? You know, we have a, a large audience on YouTube for personal development. However, there's like a couple of reasons behind it. This is actually one of them. Not only is accountability behind everything that we do, whether that's calls, that's following up. And between follow-ups, you literally have to follow up every single day until they're either a client or something else. So we're bringing in all these additional resources to make sure this happens. This is actually our ultimate goal right here. This is Hudson Yards you know, places and everything else. This makes sense to us, you know, BPI 2025. 20, this is our accountability, is that if we don't do it, and we don't do it for the month, I have to eat cat food or dog food, one of those. Adam, if he doesn't do it, he has to go into Times Square in his underwear. <laughs> Cause he felt that it wasn't good enough for him to uh, just eat that. So that's our accountability. That's a consequence if we don't do it. This is our accountability to make sure that this happens. All right, so we're gonna be going to one of two pitches right now. I think they were both for sale by owners. I know the first one was he had a terrible experience. So we have to say that we are not those brokers. And then the second one, we'll talk about it there. Let's go say hi to my favorite people. Here she is, the Gabs. She's a star. You're welcome. The, the consumers are used to dealing with rental agents when they first go into the marketplace and rental agents are not the best agents because that's like when you first enter, those are the kind of clients that you're actually working with. A, because you need money and B is because no one's going to trust working with you if you're brand new. We're going to be filming a tour for our clients right now, only exclusively for our clients. So this isn't going to go public. The first ones that are actually on the vlog. Soon we're gonna have clients that actually say yes and people that actually request to be on it. Can't wait for that time. Each time. All right, so we actually have time. We're gonna be dropping off this note. I'm not gonna show the address, but we're gonna be dropping off this note so it was a poor sell by owner. It came off the market and we have no way to actually contact them. So I'm dropping off a note to the doorman. When I was actually going from a small firm downtown, Platinum Properties, to Halstead Property, nobody really cared who I was because I wasn't a big broker. So I had to literally go to the office, drop off my resume, write a personal note, and call them. So I literally looked at all the offices that I wanted to go to and just popped by, as Brian Buffini would say, and I dropped off my resume. And then finally, they're like, I like your persistence. So like all the new agents, they're like, how do I get into Corcoran, Halstead, Elliman, Brown, Harris, Stevens, all these other firms, like, or even us? You know, cold calling isn't good enough anymore. You actually have to be proactive. There's too many agents. There's already 33,000 agents in New York City. You gotta stand out if you wanna go to one of the big firms or any firm, to be honest. It's always a, a time issue. Like, are we gonna be on time? Do we have enough time? Is the transportation on time? Is there too much traffic? Do I need a city bike? Can I run there? Do I need to take a cab? Whatever the case is, it's always about time. So we do have time to drop this off before we go to the actual video of the property tour and everything like that. So what happened was the owner actually doesn't live there. There's tenants, so he put it up for sale, renovated it, completely got renovated it, stuck some tenants in there. So he's probably gonna sell next year. Obviously there's tenants in there, so you can't really sell it with the tenants in place, but I guarantee next year, no one's gonna be calling him because nobody knows the backstory. You show up, you talk to who's in charge, you find out the whole backstory, and then you're good to go. So we're walking in right now. Didn't really have the, uh, the greatest experience prior to this with the uh, agent that he hired before, so we have to remove ourselves from that, that whole equation, because right now we're getting looped in, like it's a commodity, like all the brokers are the same, which I understand where he's coming from, but that's the goal today, is to remove ourselves. Well, that 
that, to say the least, took a little bit longer than intended. That was almost a two hour property tour. The video is gonna come out amazing. It's one of the nicest doorman buildings that you'll ever see. There's ridiculous amenities and it just took so long to actually get it filmed. So Adam had to go to the next pitch. I'm gonna call the owner right now, smooth things over. It's between us and another agent, so fingers crossed, hopefully it works out. But it's been a crazy day and I'll just leave it on this. One of the comments last time was getting in front of them. All about persistence because I think I said it today, there's so much competition that if you don't stand out, and I was talking about it with the owner, that I wrote handwritten cards and she's like, that's what really stood out. So if you're in real estate, you're in sales, you're in something, you're trying to start your own business, that's the only way. Signing off for now, Charles Botenston, vlog number three is done. Looking forward to the future ones, which is actually filmed tomorrow. If you have any questions, call me, Charles Botenston. If you have any referrals, and of course, JoJo's behind the camera who's been stellar.